Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Retose, season 2 episode number 12. Okay, uh, the previous episode uh, we met with a new character, Minami. And she seems uh, like uh, being, I mean she is going to probably join in as a bodyguard. Not join in but I think she is employed by um, the Yosuba family, uh, by Aunt Maya and i think there is going to be something happening in this near future because tatsu and like uh, mitsuki and they are going to have a party kind of a party in the tower and there are like um rumors about the tower being attacked so that's the reason why the butler and minami is going going there so and tatsu will also be there so let's see like how the <laughs> like the attackers get their like I don't know butts kicked like that's the only um uh, like outcome I can see coming out of this so, yeah. <laughs> so without further ado um let's get started with episode number 12 of Bahoka Koko no Retose season 2 all right I'll be putting subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go Oh, it's the brother. I don't remember her, his name. <coughs> Sorry about the noise. Five. New breed front. Umia, okay. Hmm. Okay, so there are more like Yeah, they won't get the information or whatever. So the branch family, okay. Okay. Okay, so we're venturing into the Yosuba family, like uh, in season one, and yeah, in season one, uh, we barely got to know anything about the family. We were only like focused on Tatsuya, the school, and everything. And this season is more or like more focused on Lena, the first part, and now I think they're venturing into the more um like the Yosuba family, and I don't know, like the internal like the family stuff that's happening because we know that uh Yosef family is one of the strongest of the families and uh, like there is some kind of like thing going on between Tasuya and um like the family so yeah okay let's see Yeah, it's peace and quiet, which I doubt will 
Last. <laughs> Damn, that's it. Yeah. Well, it's Erica. <laughs> Paper building. Ooh, underground as well. <laughs> yeah. I think there are some kind of emergency. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so yeah, as I said, like there are emergency things. Because this is something really um there he is family matters Well, there is a thing, yes. So there will always be like, uh, like people who try to like mess up. Okay, so they're gonna meet now. Fuck. Good. Wait, what? No up? Her? Something? Why is she so surprised? What's with the reaction? Okay. Oh, so that's why she was surprised, I think. I think she knows her. Hmm. Hmm. The one thing I noticed, they did not greet Tasuya because obviously he is he has does not have a good relation with the family and they do not like I don't know, like take him to be a family member or something like that. Treat him as one. Hmm. Yep. Where? What? Oh, she. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> He's in disguise. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I did not notice that previously. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh boy. They look completely similar. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, it's a problem. You have to beat them up before. <laughs> Wing. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. But they might feign ignorance. Yeah. He is thinking of more of about the safety of the people. Exactly. But they are not here for the reason. <laughs> well, two conflicting opinions. <laughs> Cheap sense of justice. <sighs> okay. Oh. Mock teleportation. Okay. Why is he in a disguise? I don't get the point of that. Ooh. I haven't noticed, okay. Okay. Ooh. Damn, that's handy. I thought he was going to probably punch with them, but <laughs> it's more like a remote controlled. Okay, direct pain. So oh, he's improving as well. He's more she's more of a support. <laughs> okay. Oh no, something's happening. Okay. Well. Oh, <laughs> that's quick. Oof. <laughs> yeah. 
Ya, yeah, watashi. <laughs> Yoru and Yami, okay. Yoru means night and Yami means darkness. So these are the code names for them. Like Yoru seems nothing similar to uh, Roba. So yeah, they're, they're more like code names. Mm. Okay, that's what I noticed. He even like understood his Fumia. New breed front. Nah, you don't need to. Okay, I'm. F I don't know. I think something's. Okay, it's okay. I think some kind of surprise attack would. Ooh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you slapped it. Oh no. You, you also made the mistake, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh. No, it's a brother. Oh no, not again. <laughs> what's that? What's that boy wearing? Does he have no pants? Yeah. Yeah, but he's more like with Minami. But still, there is like, yeah, there is still chances. <laughs> Waiting room for magician. Oh, they're the, um, yeah, the new breed front. Um, wow, who is this guy? He <laughs> looks like one of those fancy guys. Oh. 
Oh boy, there we go. Yeah, are you ready to get kicked? <laughs> to get <laughs> like brutally beaten by Tatsuya? That's the okay. <laughs> That's the question. Okay, one. You have grenade launchers? What the hell? And here we go. Yep. Yeah, so now if the pillars go out. Yeah, if the pillars go out, then uh, it's a problem. What? Why did you turn off the flywheels? Save labor. This comes with the job like that is the job so so they are like exaggerating things how are people going to be okay then oh what what Oh my god, so, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of conflicted with this, like, they are kind of not harming them in a way, but still they're harming the property. So, they gave them one hour. Plenty of time to, like, neutralize them. Oh boy. Well, so the next episode, the next episode will be the final episode of the season, and like <laughs> knowing that's uh, if he like jumps in the job, then it would take barely take like a, a minute for him to <laughs> like uh, defeat them. So yeah, but I I think uh, uh like hi the reason that Hayama was here, Hayama and Minami. I think they'll be uh, like enough to handle the situation because we still don't know how much uh, power um, Minami has but still uh, like we saw a glimpse of her power like she can like kind of reverse time I don't know what that actually was and like make barriers and stuff and the fact that Aunt Maya uh, employed her is a like I don't know is a big qualification in itself so I don't know, I think uh, Tatsuya won't have to like uh, do anything in this situation. They'll probably handle them. And the, the terrorists, they are like, how many of them? Six or seven of them? That's quite low. So, yeah. And Kuroba and uh, Fumia is also here. So, <laughs> a lot of them are here. So I doubt uh, there will be any kind of reason for Tatsuya to go out. And Miyuki is also there, so yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a lost cause for these guys. Like, they won't be able to do anything. Anyways, so yeah, um, this was episode number 12. Um, 
the penultimate episode of this season <clears throat> this season uh, uh, this episode kind of focused on umia and uh, kuraba and uh, <coughs> excuse me and we got introduced to minami where um uh, Miyuki kind of got surprised and I think that's the reason behind that it was like as they said um, Minami was the what was some kind of native of the previous caretaker I can't remember what her actual relation I must said just a sec um Okay, Sakurai is the niece of Honami Sakurai, who uh, served as Madam Mia, uh, yeah, uh, attendant. Okay, so it's niece. All right, so um, yeah, so I think th that's the reason why she noticed her because I don't know, like I think maybe Miyuki had met her before, and uh, Minami did not like uh, give any kind of reaction because obviously like uh, they were not in. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Like this is just something that I'm guessing. Even though uh, Miyuki no knew her, uh, Minami I think also knew her. Uh, but still, like they were more like servant and like the servant's niece and uh, uh, master of the like place, kind of. So I don't know. Uh, I think because of that reason, she did not like uh, make any kind of expression, Minami, after seeing Miyuki. Even if I'm not sure if she recognized uh, Miyuki or not, or what uh, the uh, Miyuki's uh, reason for her uh, surprise was, but there must be something like she must have known her. So uh, I think Minami is just basically like being respectful, and uh, like as she said that uh, she was like being respectful and talked with her politely was always looking down as like you do when there is like someone of a higher um like the designation is it something called like that like for example uh, the person you're working for is there so yeah and one thing another thing i noticed was like uh, the, there was this thing in season one where the butler with the, who was with the dad not hayama i i can't remember his name uh, that butler he like he and the, the dad were like walking in like in the hallway and Tatsuya and Miyuki were coming from the other side and they stopped and the butler uh, greeted Miyuki only and then Miyuki got mad at that and said that why like there's another person here with my brother why are you not greeting him as well and he, he said something along the lines that uh, like um yeah he is not like uh, one of us stuff like that and as always like the uh, I don't know the hatred or whatever that they have towards Tatsuya and the kind of un like unleashed on, on them and Miyuki got mad again that's a kind of like uh, I don't know like was emotionless and like didn't give a damn about the whole thing so all of the that those happened so I doubt uh, Hayama is like Hayama seemed a lot uh, calmer and a lot uh, what can I say mm, non-hostile Towards that's uh, yeah. So I still like like he did. Hayama talk with Tatsuya in this. Uh, I think he talked with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I noted. Yeah, I, I saw that. Um, Hayama talked with uh, Tatsuya in this uh, episode. He was not uh, like as I don't know rude as the other butler, uh, so I'm guessing he is more I don't know non-hostile and uh, calm, but Stasi and not like the others. But at the same time, uh, when they introduced Minami, he only introduced Minami to um, Miyuki, so I think that somehow is related to the thing of uh like that's you being kind of an outcast that whole situation i'm not sure this is or maybe i'm just looking too much into anyways um so yeah that was that what else and we saw a little bit of the i don't know powers of uh, the two 
think they're, they're are they twins brothers and sisters and <laughs> excuse me and yeah um that was they were pretty proficient um the sister um, she acted as a backup supporter and uh the brother uh fumia he acted as an attacker and uh, like when uh, fumia kind of got on a pinch uh kuraba zooped in and took him out so that is the basic role of a supporter like helping the person you were uh i don't know supporting so yeah and they i'm still not sure about their power level they seem pretty strong but um like comparing uh, like i still cannot compare the power level to tatsuya like like in this uh, like a show whenever someone powerful comes in there is always one thing that uh i don't know i at least i do that is like compare his power level to tatsuya like tatsuya is like the i don't know like the <laughs> like top <laughs> like the top uh, threshold and all of the others are like i'm uh, comparing him to tatsuya there are a lot of characters that i still can i'm, un I'm unable to gauge the power level for example uh, what was the ninja sense sense name uh, kokonoi sensei uh, him i am unable to gauge his power level like he seemed pretty damn strong and i think he is probably on par with tatsuya i'm not sure and many others as well and i think maya aunt maya is extremely strong but at the same time uh, i kind of remember them saying in season one that uh, tatsuya is saying stuff like uh, i would easily be able to like uh, take down maya uh, Aunt Maya, but um, I won't do it because uh, there are a lot of other problems uh, like related to that as well. So if I take down Aunt Maya, that all all of those problems will fall on me, and me being the outcast, I won't be able to do anything. Stuff like these. So I'm guessing even though Maya Aunt Maya is strong, strong, extremely strong, um, Tasha is stronger and can surpass her. I'm not sure. So that and. Who else? Like we got a gauge of Lina's power in this season. Like uh, Lina is strong, but not as strong as uh, like Tatsuya. Like Tatsuya is like something else. And uh, I don't know what else. Uh, who else is there? Uh, let me. Miyuki. Miyuki is strong, but still not as strong as Tatsuya. I think. Hmm. Who's the stronger? Ju Monji. Uh, Taigusa. Saigusa is I, I don't think Saigusa is as strong as Tatsuya, but I'm not sure about Jumonji. Like Jumonji is more of the defensive guy, like the tank of the team. So who knows? Like we barely know anything about Jumonji. We only saw him kind of fighting a couple of times. So yeah. Anyways, I kind of got off on a tangent. And uh, this was in this episode. Um Oh, another thing I did not really get was why was he in a disguise like Fumia? Uh, I don't know, like uh, they were uh, apprehending criminals. So is there any reason for putting on a disguise for that? Because like if they, he was like infiltrating some place or something, uh, disguise could be like, I don't know, uh, would be appropriate. But <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think it's more of a hobby for him or something. Like when you go into fighting or something as uh, he like puts on the uh, like the dress and all and disguise so who knows or maybe there is some other reason i don't know i really am <laughs> not sure because we barely know anything about these two umia and kuroba and uh, what else uh, oh uh, the new breed uh, human uh, what was the name uh, new front or whatever Anyways, that organization. Um, now here's the thing: uh, they are terrorists, but they kind of gave them a chance to like. They said something about like run away from here. We won't, don't want to harm you guys. Uh, we just want to show the people that uh, yeah, uh, like uh, because of their agenda and everything. Like they don't want people. Um, uh, I don't know. Like. <sighs> What are their actual uh, like goal? I think uh, as I said, like their goal is to make the magicians the superior form of power in this society, and I think they want to like as like there is to like blow up places to make other people notice them and for them to like instill fear in other people stuff. But at least they let the others 
they give an, uh, the others a chance to leave and they even give them a quite a lot of bit of time i think one hour they said so yeah like if they said something about like you have five minutes just run it, it would be a mess like everyone would be like screaming trying to run they gave them an hour so they are a lot calmer and there is no um like uh pandemonium happening and uh in this one hour is plenty for uh kuroba uh, not kuroba um minami to find them out save them out and defeat them and we'll probably get to see that in the next episode and we'll also get a, a basic like a rough estimate of their power like minami's power and we saw it in uh, like the previous episode but that was barely anything so yeah and uh, i'm not sure if tasha will like interfere in this who knows uh, like tasha is more like um like interferes in stuff when uh, him or his friends are in danger uh like in immediate danger he kind of reacts quickly but in this situation uh it's more like everyone is in danger and there is hayama minami so i don't know if that's will take an active role and go out there and try to defeat them because obviously he knows that there are a lot of more people like capable people here so or he would like let them do their stuff like job who knows um yeah and oh yeah as i was saying i was talking about the uh, terrorists so yeah they gave them a chance to run away which is good i think like uh not all terrorists are like that like terrorists usually don't do that like they only like blow places up and the people who are killed are killed nothing you can do but at least they are kind of civil in this like nature like i can say so yeah i really like the things that they're doing is bad like they're blowing up places that's not a good thing to do but at least they're like uh, not letting any people getting getting hurt so that is kind of uh i don't know a good thing about them so yeah but still they need to be like captured and arrested and punished for whatever they are doing but uh we still do not know like like there is always this thing like we even saw the like op opposite happening like the people who are like the normal people they are protesting and we also are seeing now the people who are like magicians they are protesting like, like always people will like find this kind of problems in their uh like the way they are treated like there will always be this thing and like people will always like say that yeah i'm not okay like uh what the government is doing and what everyone is doing that's not okay there will always be people who do like that and there are people who kind of take that to an extreme and like go into terrorism and stuff like this so yeah there will always be people like this you cannot like completely nip them off the butt that is impossible so yeah you'll have to deal with it whenever something like this happens and that's the reason why like security and all of these people are here and um like yeah they need to be like captured and uh like punished and then i don't know like they don't deserve death penalty or stuff like that like they are i don't know like i, I have no idea what i'm talking about i'm not sure how these things work especially in animes <laughs> but uh like at least in my opinion uh they kind of gave them a chance to run away so i think that like that makes them a lot better than the other terrorists that how they usually do stuff so at least like uh, capture them uh, take them to a prison give them some kind of like uh, i don't know like some kind of uh, sentence of like two or three years or five years of like prison and punish them for their deeds and let them go that's the best thing okay and but if they like blow really blow up the tower they, that will like be a really criminal offense and i think it their sentence or uh, their like uh, like punishment will get even worse if something like that happens but i doubt that will happen because there are a lot of people here and they will stop them easily so yeah anyways i kind of like went on in a completely different matter uh, ignore me like i i really am not sure about all of these things i'm just like talking f from i don't know like i really don't know about any, like all of these kind of things like this law and all like i'm not sure about it so yeah this is just me like talking i without knowing anything uh, anyways so yeah guys um that was uh, episode number 12 of mahoka koko no retose 
um, season two. So yeah, the next episode will be the final episode, and let's see how it ends. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or the anime in general. I'll be sure to check them out. So, yeah, guys, I'll be back with a new Mahoka Koko no Reto Se season two episode next week, same time. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.